All right, hello everyone. Welcome to part two of my Q&A video. Uh, it took a little bit longer to come out than I was expecting because I lost the audio. I, I answered all these questions at once and uh, I accidentally deleted the, the audio file, but it's fine because uh, I had some really bad allergies when I started recording and now it's mostly subsided, so I won't have to do as much editing of the audio. I can just kind of it all works out, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, let's go ahead and get into the remainder of the questions on here. I believe last time I had answered the Sudgerine A0's questions. So, uh, let's go ahead and get into the excuse me next, next section here. Alright, so the next batch of questions is from J50Tank8905, also a long time uh, viewer. So, uh, thank you for just being there and being supportive there, uh, J50 Tank. I appreciate it. Uh, so, question one. Did you ever think you'd get this far on YouTube? Hmm. Well, short answer is no. <laughs> uh, just a little to-do about it. So, I made the channel back in 09. So, I was like 14. And uh, things would have been a lot different. I, my intent was to start my series then. I actually wrote three... I wrote some stories back then. I've been writing stories since I was like nine. But um, the I have the scripts of the old ones that I wrote back then. And I actually filmed one. It was about Thomas and Billy, and I don't remember the title. Uh, and I lost most of the footage that I filmed back then. But my intent was to start something similar to like Tommy, TNF, or whatever Train Lover 476 had named his. Very glad I didn't go that route, because that's just not my style, but I didn't know what else to do, and I just wanted to be on the internet like everybody else. If I had started, though, it probably would have ended at high school, because uh, that's kind of what I was expecting. However, I never did start my series. Uh, I did t film two episodes in 2013. Um, oh, and actually, one of the stories I wrote for 2009... Uh, I restructured, and that became Sir for Nothing. Uh, the characters are swapped around. I think James was originally supposed to be the one who meets Colin, but yeah, just so you know, I, I've built in, I've been able to repurpose some of that stuff for my current series, but it's crazy how uh, life changes, I guess. But no, I filmed Hero Comes Home and Hank in the Express in 2013. Never finished them. Uh, because my computer crashed. Um, I still have all the footage, but in short, I couldn't edit it anymore. Or maybe I just dropped it. I don't remember exactly. Uh, college did start that year, though. And then 2015 is when I finally launched the thing. So, yeah, I didn't really expect I'd still be interested. I guess when I was younger, I assumed I would lose interest, but for some reason, I haven't it's still an obsession of mine <laughs> so i don't know i'm just happy to be here I, the sub counts whatever it's not huge but it's hard to really get a lot of followers in this community i don't know what the formula is like we're not huge like numbers wide but also like certain channels can have anywhere from 10 to 50 to 100,000 subs even a couple have close to a million so like there's people out there but like you know most commentary channels for other fandoms like Marvel, easy for them to get 50 to 100k subs. But here, it's like a very specific niche. And I'm trying to figure out what that is. I think it's Wooden Railway, but I'm not sure. And I'm not about to switch <laughs> over. I'm stick play all the way. But, nah. Uh, in short, I didn't think I'd get this far, but I'm, I'm just enjoying the ride, you know? Uh, so, next question. Who are your favorite and least favorite characters in the overall franchise? Uh, well, I already said earlier, James is my favorite character, and I kind of explained why. Uh, but I can talk about my least favorite character, and that would be Philip. I hate Philip with a passion. I viscerally dislike this engine. I don't know why. Objectively, he has a better storyline than like 90% of the new characters introduced to the show so i don't know why I, I i do not like him so much but i just can't stand philip i don't know if it's his voice 
or his attitude. I don't I, I don't like him. He's easily the one I hate the most. Uh, there are some useless ones that I thought were dumb, like Stafford and Hugo, but they haven't really done anything to piss me off. And to be fair, neither has Philip. but I have zero intention of ever getting any Philip merchandise. So, yeah. Uh, next question. If you could get any three characters made into Tomy, Playrail, or Trapmaster, who would it be and why? And I'm going to assume old Trapmaster because the current one is terrible. Um, hmm, there's so many. First, if I could get Tomy to relaunch all the characters they quit making, I'd be happy, honestly. We need, we need some new Murdoch and Oliver merch. But uh, if I could get any three made into characters, I would pick Millie would be the first on my list. I I don't know why. She's actually a cool character in the show, but there's like this huge blackout on like any Millie merchandising. And it, it's disappointing to me that Playrail made Bash and Dash for a time, but never considered to make Millie. I, I would love to see that. I would use that. She's a really cool design. Um, number two would be Flying Scotsman. The Trapmaster one isn't bad, um, but it's Trapmaster. It's new Trapmaster, and it sucks. Um, thankfully, it doesn't look like super bad like that Trapmaster Gordon, but it still just doesn't. It has this. It doesn't work on the older track very well. It's not very strong. Um, and I would just love to see a not custom play rail flying Scots. I think it'd be beautiful, especially if they use the TV show design. Um, and then number three, oh, it's kind of split. There's so, again, there's so many to choose from. I would like Derek or D two six one, which I know they're like really obscure one off characters, but I would, I would just love to have like more big diesels. I'd prefer Derek just because I could use that one a little bit more than, like, a visitor engine. But, hey, I think they both would look fine. Uh, but that would be my wish list for Tomy if they were to just make three characters. Uh, let's see. Next question. Do you like any other fan-created TNF series? And if so, which ones? <laughs> Boy, I got a whole list. No, I'm just kidding. Um, a lot of these are old and not in production anymore. Because, again, I, I first discovered this stuff like 10 years ago. Um, so number one on my list is Miss Oliver and Blossom's TNF. Hands down, my favorite fan, Thomas fan series. Definitely inspiration for me starting my own. And uh, I love it. It was always super funny. But also, like, there were some pretty cool character moments in there. So most of you probably seen that one. Uh, anything out of Carson's video workshop is pretty good. I don't really follow him a lot, but I've never watched a video of his and just been like, oh, this is terrible. So I enjoyed those. Uh, Sodor, The Dark Times. Again, that was just like a trilogy by Scarloy123 a long time ago. But, um, I watched that one. It's not really... It's enjoyable, but not in, like, the sense that you would think of. <laughs> uh... Train Lover 476's Tommy Thomas series. I loved that one. I still watch Ramafool because um, he's still going. He's like one of the last people from like that era that still makes videos. I also like Thomas Wooden Railway, the channel, not just the line, but he makes a lot of good stories. Um, I also watch, uh, let's see, Trainboy 12's TTT and FS. Uh, Long acronym. No, it's the uh, the Trapmaster Thomas and Friends show. Yeah, that one. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's been rebooted. I li I like the new iteration that's going on. Uh, yeah, if you're if you're watching this Train Boy Twelve, uh, pretty awesome. Keep up the good work. Uh, then I also like Turtles Ertles. I think this is the same dude who made um, freaking Sudring Conflict. I haven't seen that, but. I like these little short videos that he's making. And there, there are some others too, but these are the ones that come to mind for me the most. Uh, what other franchises do you like and enjoy besides Thomas? Uh, let's see here. I like a lot of different things. Again, you'll notice a lot of them are still nerdy type fandoms, but uh, anything Marvel, 
Captain America trilogy is my favorite, but I love all those movies. They were all great. I mean, some were less great than others, but just such a great uh, piece of work to come out of Marvel. Uh, Lord of the Rings, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which is a Marvel show. Um, It's pretty good. It's not so good anymore, but it was good in seasons three to five. Uh, Parks and Rec, Family Guy, Rick and Morty. Uh, I don't watch a ton of anime, but Attack on Titan is, it's a masterpiece. It gets better every season. 100% recommend if you're, uh, 17 and up because it's a mature audience, but it's so good. Uh, Toy Story, I I like a little Disney here and there. Uh, As far as games go, uh, Trains, I used to play that, and then Mario Kart, Super Mario, Mario Party, not much of a gamer, but that's my experience. <laughs> I also used to play Need for Speed back in the day. But, yeah, thanks for asking those questions. Uh, next guy is the Thomas Guy 2020 So let's see, what is your favorite episode? Uh, Sleeping Beauty. I, I think it's just a nice... It's just a good episode. I can't really explain why. It just hits that sweet spot between, like, heavy nostalgia and just... Making you feel good, warm and fuzzy on the inside. But yeah. Uh, number two, do you like Free the Roads? Um, philosophically? No, nah, I'm just playing. Uh, this must be the season 23 episode. It was um, it was good. Again, I don't really love the current, the new format of the show. Uh, but this story was actually well-structured and... I don't know. Like, in retrospect, the imagination sequences, sometimes, like, I think they can be used effectively, and they're starting to learn that now. Season 22 is just terrible, in my mind, but season 23 seems to have more of a handle on it, and um, they've gotten better with the conclusions to the stories. So, I, I overall, I liked it. Again, it wasn't my favorite, but it was bulgy, and I've never seen how he interacts with you know, someone like Birdie versus the trains. So that was that was also pretty pretty uh, enlightening. I like that. What are your thoughts on Trackmaster 3? First of all, what? 3. So what I know of is uh, there was Trackmaster that was launched in 2006. Then it went over to Fisher-Price. So... I don't know if you consider those two the same. I kind of do, but to me... So I, I'm assuming Trapmaster 2 is Revolution, which I hate. But Trapmaster 3? What? What is this? Am I, am I out of the loop? Or all I've seen was that they were updating Annie and Clarabelle. Is that a different line? Are they changing the track again? Because uh, if they're doing it again... Uh, I don't know how... I, I don't know enough about this one. I'm sorry. I need I need to catch up. Uh, number four, are you excited for the Royal Engine? Mm, I feel like I should be, but I'm not. Like I was, and then I saw Duchess up close, and I'm just not. I don't feel what I should feel. Uh, it looks cheaply animated. They also really didn't do their homework on this engine, or maybe they did. I mean, they had to because the the body render itself is fine, but. The coloring is awful. I imagine they had to do some changes. They, I heard they had a copyright problem with Duchess of Hamilton, which is stupid because Flying Scotsman was fine, and these are trains. They're not intellectual properties, last time I checked. But um, I don't know. I, I, I don't really like the mini special format. They're not, they don't hit me like a movie does. And I think there are too many movies, but this would be the year to do one. So, I don't know. I'm not, I'm pretty meh about it, frankly. All right, uh, next question is from Ashton M 1920 A little minor shout-out to this guy. He uh, voices P.T. Boomer in my uh, Lady prequel. That's Lady in the beginning. I don't really know what to call it. It's, it's, like a, it's more like an OVA <laughs> than anything, but... But yeah, he does that. He does a great job. He's coming back for the Secret Railway to reprise. So yeah, uh, been a 
been a great member of the team here in the last year or so. Uh, his question is, plans for the next movie? Um. Oh, yeah, I guess I kind of let the cat out of the bag. I mean, I've already, you guys already know it's coming, right? Like, I'm, I'm working on The Secret Railway. That is my next project. My question is whether to make it, like, a movie, and I use that term loosely. Like, is it separate, or is it part of Volume 4? That's what I'm trying to decide. Um, because it took me a long time, and Volume 3 was a little bit smaller than Volume 2, because I spent half of 2019 um, putting together lady in the beginning so i'm kind of like do i just make multi-part episodes a thing or what i mean regardless it's going to be movie-ish length i mean not like two hours or anything but you know so but that's what i'm working on it's my version of the magic railway um i renamed it i just because i it's, i'm making enough changes that it's meant to be like the magic railroad but like not in all the bad ways. I'm, to me, I'm not gonna emphasize like the magic piece as much, uh, and the way that I I wrote Lady's line. It's not like this weird, um, world crossing thing. So it's just a secret railway that's on the island of Sodor. So, but it's written vague enough. That, you know, if you still want to think of it as, like, the other concept, then it, it'll be fine. You won't really notice. But, um, anyways, that's that's the plan. I'm filming. I finished filming for part one. Uh, I just have to put it together. So, it's, it's coming. I'll get lines out soon. Next question. Donald 9, Douglas 10, and Emily doesn't have any number. <laughs> that's because... She's Emily's number 12, all right? I don't care what anyone says. Emily's number 12. Um, he asks, when is the con continuation? It says the continue, but I'm assuming, when's the continuation of Molly's discovery? Again, that's the secret railway. I'm expecting it. It could be ready mid-April. I'm giving myself till May. I might, I'm going to be moving around the, yeah, the beginning of May. Like I said, I should have everything filmed, but I'm waiting on a few parts to come in so I can finish those scenes. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. I also have to get lines out and back in that time frame. So I would expect May or June. If it's early, surprise, surprise. Uh, all right, next one. Train Boy 90. How long does it take for you to make one episode? Um... Oh, yeah. Let me just read that. <laughs> One episode. Uh, it can take anywhere from two weeks to a month. It depends how aggressive I am. Now, filming it doesn't take super long. I can do that in about an hour, maybe two, if I have to make more than one set. But I try to make a set so that it has all the locations for one episode. Um, so that part doesn't take long. What takes long is the editing. Because my computer is uh, almost 10 years old. It's 8. I use... My software has gotten a little bit better, but it's very resource heavy. It's my computer. I need a new one. Uh, that's what takes the longest, though. And it, if it freezes or if I have to start over, like, all that goes into account. If I have a slow weekend, then I can knock it out in, like, a day... No. It takes at least three day sessions of, like, six hours to cut everything to put in the narration to put in the sound effects and to export so yeah that's why the pacing my release pacing is like that um but yeah so next question when did you start collecting thomas and friends merchandise uh well i got my first first thing was a take along james uh when i was seven and we didn't get any more for like a long time when i was 10 i got my first Tommy train and it was Spencer. Uh, I'm gonna put that first Spencer in one story later as a tribute, but I I bought a new one since then. Uh, so yeah, I've just been collecting them ever since then. I, I can't stop. It's it's a problem. Send help. My collection is probably worth. That's a good thing. If I do retire one day and I don't decide to pass this down to like 
some relative or a kid, God forbid, um, then this it's just going to get more and more valuable because they don't make most of these trains anymore. But yeah, I've been collecting them for about 15 years. Holy cow. Uh, what are your thoughts on PlayRail making Lorenzo and Beppe and Gina? Uh, yes. I'm fine with it. Uh, they actually are pretty cool looking. I looked at the promotional images of them. Lorenzo seems like a pretty cool prototype. Uh, and Gina actually looks cool. I wish they made uh, Gabriella. She's another one that I thought was awesome. Uh, the freight cars that come with Gina I, is mainly what I'm after. I'll buy her just to, to have those. I like those colors. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. I, I don't really care. Again, like, I I don't follow the current, like, anything past Journey Beyond Sodor, even before that. Anything like Great Race time frame after, I'm just kind of, ah, uh, I don't care anymore. I don't really agree with the direction it's gone. But I do keep up with, like, new characters, new faces here and there. If nothing else, I'll make something up for them to do. But I actually watched Lorenzo's episodes, and he's a pretty cool dude. Very unique twist on a character. Someone who sings all the time. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I might, I might get them. Uh, favorite character and least favorite. I already answered these before. So just to reiterate. Because they haven't changed. James is my favorite. And Philip is my least favorite. Sorry, I was very passionate about that. Uh, next question. Oh. One more, yes. This was Useful Engine 11. <laughs> You're just in time because I had to re record this thing anyway. Um, he says, What is. Hold up. What is your favorite episode from the series that you've made? Uh, this question was already asked earlier, but I'll go ahead and say it again. I'm, uh, Whistle Stop is the favorite one that I've made. I think the honorable mentions would be uh, Brother Mine and Tram Trouble. Uh, all these are episodes that, if I had to think about it, they're all pretty close. But Whistle Stop is my favorite one that I've made. All right, uh, what's your favorite Thomas special? The Adventure Begins, uh, which is something that a lot of nostalgia people say, but I, I liked it. I wish Henry had his old shape. That would have made it perfect. Do you like Wooden Railway? Um... I think I would have if I had started collecting it, but we never did, and now I have a bunch of PlayRail. I I like PlayRail and Tomy better just because the trains move on their own, but Wooden Railway does remind me of being a kid a lot more, so it depends what you're going for. If I want to relive my five-year-old days, heck yeah. Uh, how did you come up with your YouTube name? <laughs> interesting story so some only a few of you probably know this but my original channel name was not blue tracks deck it was the railway industry and that's kind of why my production name still says that uh where that came from was uh i don't know if you've watched the best of thomas dvd or just any of those where they had like the character bios um and sir topham hats was like uh talking about his service to the railway industry and i don't know why i decided to make that a username i think it was because like popular ones back then were like you know the railway inspector 3 or the fat controller 11 blah 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 so i just did the railway industry it, it never caught on probably more because i just didn't really make any videos that were cool i don't know but when I started, when I launched my series, um, I decided it was time to do a, a bit of a facelift. Uh, but actually, my first episode, I think the first two, I was still the railway industry because that's how I presented it. Um, but I think by 2016, 2017, I had updated it. Uh, it just comes from, it's really simple, blue tracks because I, I use a lot of Tomy play rail material and then DAC is from uh Dakota which is my name so yeah that's that's the gist of it there uh let's see 
last bit here. Who's your favorite standard gauge, narrow gauge, miniature gauge, and cold fell engines? Uh, okay. So, uh, in terms of just, like, aesthetic, James is my favorite character. But my favorite engine that runs on standard gauge, I think, is Hero. I just... He, he's super cool. Just I, I love watching. I like it when they use him. It's just super awesome. Uh, great color scheme. Great whistle. All of it. Uh, for narrow gauge, Duke. Not much to say. I just like Duke. Nice old man. Uh, for miniature engines, Mike. They're all the same. Just different colors. I like Mike the best. And then... Lord Harry, uh, I have I know absolutely nothing about Coldy Fell Railway, so I picked Lord Harry because I remember seeing those trading cards when I was a kid, and he was the one that looked the best to me. But I I, I couldn't tell you the first thing about these guys; they all look the same to me, and I picked him. And if you have a problem with that, well, that's why they're not on the show; they all look the same. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Well, that sums it up. That's all the questions. A lot more than I was expecting to answer. I did not expect to have to make two parts of this, but hey, that's fine. You guys blew it out of the water. It was a pleasure answering all of your questions. Hopefully, I didn't ramble too much, um, and hopefully you got to learn a little bit more about me. Uh, but yeah, so we'll just be going back to the usual here. I'm still very aggressively working on the next project. I'd like to do some more review uh, videos of, like, Trimaster play row items as, as I have time. Uh, but yeah, tune in next time and I'll see you around. All right, take care. Bye bye.